Hi everybody, this is Sherry from Practical Stitches and I'm going to show you my July makes, or I'm going to try. Uh, it's a beautiful day again and I thought it would be nice to do this outside. <clears throat> I'll try and talk louder because we're outside. Anyway, what I have on is Butterick. 6632 and I made view C and it was very easy make it says that it's easy and I really like it I wore this all day today I went to the fabric store it has very large sleeves I didn't know if I'd like that but I don't mind it as long as you don't well, it's not too bad. I don't mind them. I probably could have made the sleeves longer. And but for summer, this is a it's like a Swiss dot and it has navy. It's white it's quite sheer. I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick that up. Anyway, it was a very easy make. I really like it. The neck turned out nicely. It's just gathered here. Raglan sleeves gathered. And uh, I really like it. So that I will be making again for sure. Might make the next one longer. Oh, no, nope, that's supposed to be like that. Very wrinkled because I've been wearing it all day. And. Yes, very right. Oh my goodness. So that's that one. Okay, the shorts are quick sew 3614. And I only had enough fabric to make the short ones. I thought I did view B, but they look more like view C. Made them straight out of the packet. They worked really well. And I love them. Very comfortable. I've been wearing them nonstop. And this is New Look 6394. That's right. I was reading that upside down. And I think I did. View A, very long. I cut another two inches off after I made it. Very long. As you can see, very long. It has a pleat in the back. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of this. I like it. I'm not sure about the print, but I like the print. Anyway, I was really excited to get this pattern. I had to order it because they don't sell New Look in Canada. And I might make the sleeveless version of this. And I really like this version. So I will make this again. And I was worried the sleeves were going to be tight. They look like they are, but they don't. There's lots of room. And the shorts, I will definitely make those again. That was a good one. And there's no mistakes in the pattern. Uh, tissue paper, like I've had a couple patterns lately from Clixo. And I've heard other people complain that the lines are not where they're supposed to be and the markings are all off. Anyway. Those were both really good makes. And this is the other blouse that I made. It has an asymmetrical, asymmetrical hemline, short sleeves, and then a v-neck with a big uh, facing. It has one pleat 
to go with the asymmetrical hemline, which I put on backwards, which should be going this way. And this is the print. I love this fabric. I think it's so pretty. So, and this was a Butterick pattern. 5999 and I really like this. It's fairly easy to make. Most of the work is in the neckline. The only thing I found with it was it was tight across the shoulders. I did make one other version and it was cotton. This is crayon chalet I believe. And I shrunk it, <laughs> so it doesn't fit me at all anymore. And it was tight across the shoulders, like to do this, but I just cut it a tiny bit wider when I cut this one, and because I really love this fabric, and I was scared I was going to wreck it. And I only bought enough. I don't think I have enough to make anything else out of it. So anyway. And you can make this out of stretchy fabric too. So I already have interfacing for a knit one that I hope to make in the fall. I have a idea for the neckline. Anyway, a longer sleeve one. And so those were my makes for July. And I made one other thing. I'll try and make this a short story for because I haven't done a video in a couple of months and well life reasons and I was working on this really big project. I made another ugly quilt. <laughs> I had this idea in the fall that I would uh, in this community. Ah, oh, this is going to be a long story. Anyway, there's these barn quilts and I'll put the pictures in at the end because I don't have the quilt right now. I already gave it away, gave it to the people that are going to quilt it and then they're going to sell tickets on it and raise money for their cause. So anyway, it's, they have all these barn quilts in this community and I wanted to make a replica of the burn quilt. I thought I saw my neighbor walking by. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I, there's like 15 to pick from and they're all very pretty like designs and some of them are quite intricate and I'm not really a very experienced quilter. So I tried to pick an easy one which is the double pinwheel. And I'll put a picture of the barn quilt photograph. And then, so I tried to replicate it with the colors and everything. I wanted to have it done by the end of May so I could give it to them. And anyway, they're not even going to use it till next year, so I'm not going to go into the whole who are they and, uh, because they're not going to use it this year because they already have another quilt and they haven't even seen it yet I don't think so I'm just I'm going to try and forget about the whole thing because <laughs> it was consuming it took a lot longer for me to do that than I had planned it was a lot of work and anyway I finally finished it July 23rd <laughs> It was just haunting me because it was down in my sewing room and every time I tried to start something I think now I got to work on that because I wanted to get it finished. So anyway I took some pictures on my clothesline immediately drove it and got rid of it <laughs> so they could do what they want with it and so that was my good deed. Um, there's still a lot more work that has to be done to it. I just made the top but yeah, it took 
a long time. So that's what I've been working on. So now you get to see the finely finished project and I was going to do a whole separate video on it, but where the people don't even haven't even seen it yet, I just thought I'm just glad it's done. And it made me because it was kind of depressing me because I was working on it for so long, and then I started to not like it. I think when you stare at something for so long that you, I didn't like the fabrics, and yeah, that's another thing. I picked all prints because I made this quilt on a budget and I only picked fabric that was on sale and try, trying to stick to a certain color palette of the burn quilt because I was trying to replicate it. it I should have just forgot about that and picked something different. But So they're all prints. It did look nice in the pictures. It's just up close, it's a lot. <laughs> and most people look at their quilts, they're up close because they're on their bed. Anyway, it's finished, I'm glad. And that's what I've been doing. And I have made some things, so that makes me feel better. And I finally made some things that fit and I didn't shrink them. <laughs> And I can wear them, so. And I haven't worn this yet. I just finished it a few days ago. I think I like it. The sleeves look. Anyway. So, maybe that'll give you some ideas of some patterns or fabric choices. I don't know. Anyway, I will make all those things again. I'm very happy with them. I lucked out because sometimes I make things and then I don't like them. So, everybody take care and hopefully I'll see you soon.